Okay, so, so far we've covered the user keys and their function. Now I just want to cover a few things uh, about the user interface on the, the touch screen. Some of these features may require a charge nurse or super user to access them uh, when we actually go live, but for teaching purposes, I'm just going to show you how to change alarm parameters based on patient condition and access a few buttons that you may not know are there that aren't as obvious as the user keys down at the bottom. If I have a patient um, that requires me to change the heart rate alarm parameters, all I'd need to do is press inside the, the numeric area for heart rate. That takes me to my first of two screens. The first screen for heart rate allows me to then select my low or high that I would like to adjust. The second screen, there's a picture in picture button on the right of your menu. If I press that screen, from here I'm able to change my lead, excuse me, my, my gain, the size of my ECG waveform, as well as my lead. the heart rate, I can back out of those menus. The same holds true for my blood pressure. The first screen will take me to my alarm parameters, as well as another option, or another place where I can select my NIBP interval. Also with my SpO2, I have my alarm changes, and my respiratory rate. Another direct path to change my leads or change the, the gain of my, of my ECG waveform is to simply press on the screen where it has the Roman numeral 2, brings up my wheel of, of lead choices, or for instance where it has times 1 or times 2 for respiratory. If I press on that screen, I'm then able to make the waveform smaller or larger based on patient and I can X out once I'm through. At the top of your screen, if I press inside the patient information box, I'm also taken to an admission discharge screen. If I press it again, I can make that go away. The mode select key that I have the user, in the user keys at the bottom is mirrored in the top by simply pressing where it says basic. Now I can select which view I'd like to to uh, monitor. Next to basic it says other bed, which also allows me to bring up my other bed function and monitor another patient room. 